One of the situations that come up from time to time is a student saying that they've taken a quiz but you don't see their submission. Typically this happens when you have a quiz set to auto submit after the time limit expires. It does not automatically submit because the students get a message saying that their time limit's up and they need to submit the quiz. A lot of times the students don't do this. They don't go and they need to go and click on the go to submit button but they don't. And if they don't you can see that they have not and submit the quiz for them. In fact, you can view the progress uh, with a quiz at any time while the student's taking it before they submit it. So I'm going to show you how you can actually submit the quiz or view the quiz while the student's in progress. Click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar. Click Quizzes. You'll be taken to the Manage Quiz page. Click on the context menu next to the quiz you wish next to the quiz name. Click on Grade. You'll be taken to the Users tab. By default, the users show you only those who have completed an attempt. So you'll see here everybody's completed an attempt. What you need to do on the Restrict To drop-down is to choose Users with Attempts in Progress and click the Search icon. Any student who has not submitted the quiz but started it will appear in the search results and next to the attempt it will say in progress. That's how you know that they're in progress. To see the progress of the student and or submit the quiz for them, click on the impersonate icon next to the name in progress. Click yes on the confirmation uh, box. This will allow you to see exactly what the student has done on the quiz, including how many questions they've answered and saved. In fact, you could actually change the answers for them. Of course, you're not going to, or give an put the answers in for them. If you don't want to submit the quiz for them, after you've looked this over, you'll notice on the upper right corner of the quiz page is the exit impersonating. And if you click that, that will take you back into the quiz users tab. I'm going to go back in because the second scenario is you would like to submit this for the quiz. It's past the time limit. The student hasn't submitted it. They say they did it. You can go and just scroll down to the bottom, click go to the submit quiz, click submit quiz, click yes submit quiz, and this will submit the quiz for them. You'll be taken back to the Users tab. What you want to do is click the, sh the Clear Search because my courses will remember the search the next time you view the submissions. Click Save and Close.